Thomas Lyons, Raps on TV. We're down here at the uh, newly established Kai and Prince Foundation Stadium. Fortunate to be joined by MTK's family uh, partnership, uh, Marvin Herbert. As Herbert. Lovely to meet you, Marvin. My pleasure, my pleasure. How are you doing? You right? Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Just get the, uh, the MTK in. Uh, just talk to me about kind of being down here today, part of this massive sort of history landmark um, moment particularly Mark Prince, but also the guys like Justin and everyone else supporting the movement. Just kind of your reflection on And a couple of months ago, Mark told me that he was, um, that he was renaming the stadium after his son, and he'd, he'd love me to come along, so I said, well, I'm, there's no reason why I shouldn't, right? so I'm here, you know, and it's a, it's, a, it's a historical moment, not only for Mark, but for the life campaigns that people are spending at the moment. Yes. Like, How's a football stadium been named after Mark Prince's son? Like, although we play for QPI, it's something that you don't really hear of often, you know. So to actually be invited along and to be part of this celebration is amazing. You yeah. Know? And with uh, obviously MTK, you know, a massive uh, promotional company, and kind of what um, I suppose because Spencer Fearon, particularly, he's been involved with the foundation, yeah. uh, with the MTK Foundation. Yeah. They're doing a lot of stuff in communities with the homelessness, but also again, young people. So, how important is it for initiatives and particularly like MTK to fund and uh, support these kind of uh, causes? Yeah, well, the, the, the MTK predominantly is all about helping others yeah. and basically when MTK first started we used to have the, all the amateurs that trained in the club for free all the naughty kids we trained we got the naughty kids good back in school yeah. give them incentive like taking them to boxing taking them to shows having weekend like activities for the kids you know yeah. just giving them incentives not to be naughty or go down the wrong path um, and it's just basically snowball into what we've got today with every other organisation that we're in yeah. and just helping change the mindsets, like I said, for these young kids, you know, yeah. it's that important. Yeah. How important is that to, you know, get behind the young people, inspire them, but also give them the confidence, the, the, I suppose, the aspiration to take themselves away from this this culture and this kind of, you know, the activities they get involved in, being branded like a lot of kind of, you know, gang involvement, but not even that, just kind of the boxing side of things, the football, the, the sport and the, the recreation side of things. How do you um, sort of assess that and get young people to uh, come to the gym and, you know, just talk? From Everybody's got different avenues and different perspectives, right? But from my perspective, I like getting involved to change the mindset of the youngsters. I used to be a pretty naughty kid when I was growing up. I, I got involved with the wrong side of the law for a few years and basically I turned my life around because of a traumatic incident I went through. And after that situation, I've sort of grown towards helping others sort of mass, sort of change the mindset towards becoming a contributing member of society rather than somebody that's becoming a hindrance on society or within their own communities. You yeah. know? And it's so important for big organisations to get behind the youngsters to help change their mindset. Because once their mindset changes, then the rest of their journey is safe, you know? Until their mindset changes, then they're always going to be in these situations with conflict, adversity, you know, boredom, you know? And it's about amalgamating with all the like-minded companies, all the organisations towards the same common goal and getting these kids off the street and occupied into meaningful sort of activities and projects where they can grow and aspire to be who they really want to become, you know? 100%. Marvin, pleasure you uh, giving us some of your time. Thomas Lyons, Marvin Herbert, uh, shout out MTK Global. MTK Global. And uh, all the best and we'll uh, catch up with you soon. Bye, bye. Nice one.